are technically in the UK, we're in Northern Ireland. There's actually a documented ghost here. For literally over 400 years, we're the first people to ever get permission. Below here where the toilets are now used to be the dungeon room. So that's where the bodies are buried. Bodies, plural. Bodies. Are but they no. still down there? Yeah. Isabella was put up in the ghost room and that's where she jumped or was pushed to her death. Somebody left the hotel in the middle of the night. The wife woke up and she could see somebody sitting on her husband's chest. Mediums and things have been here. They see her um, in this corner. Oh my Card God. in the corner. Frightened. Do you want us to go to the ghost room? So, this one on here. Cool. We got everything. Didn't go off the internet. The flashlight. Neither went off the internet. What I got though was, I kind of felt like it was like demonic, like something pretending, like trying to trick us. Is it something acting like a child trying to trick me? If he gets something about a child or something demonic or anything, I'm gonna be like, okay, like there's a portal here. Am I alone? Dude, that's coming from up here. What the? This is like a bad horror movie. That's where she would have slept. That's on the ground. It's Bella. No. Never went off the no. entire time. Welcome to the Overnight Channel, dedicated to finding proof of the paranormal. What's up? everyone and welcome back to the overnight channel where we are dedicated to everything paranormal mysterious unsolved unknown uncalibrated inexplicable uh, um op opaque pegasus pegasus everything that has to do with pegasuses <laughs> that's what this channel is about we are right now night one of a 16 night trip in europe Right now, we're technically in the UK, we're in Northern Ireland, and then we'll be spending another day in Dublin, heading out to the UK for about 10 nights, and then we're going back to Paris for the catacombs. The catacombs. This trip is packed. Yes. Every place you've ever wanted us to go in this area, we're going. It's on the list, it's happening, plus a bunch of bonuses, and on top of that, because we're in a different part of the world, we wanted to meet up with some different friends. Should we, uh show them who we're here with or yeah you guys don't actually know uh might know who i know he was in cerro gordo and the cecil hotel series and cerro gordo and cerro gordo and the cecil hotel series and he was also in part two of cerro gordo and he was in uh part the three. In, uh the in part three of so cecil yeah yeah matt right <laughs> oh, <hey. laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I thought I had a minute. You guys are doing a whole spiel. You guys are saying unknown, unsolved, and uncircumcised. Are you standing behind the videos. camera guy like that? Hi, everybody. Good to see y'all again. <laughs> uh, we'll get we'll 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 have less less clothes on as the video progresses. I'm good, sure. Good, good, mm, good. We'll see. We'll see. So Matt's joining us for the entire trip, and then when we get into the UK, when we get into London, we're meeting up with Dan, otherwise known as Exploring with Spiders. Joining us for this trip is Matt Rife, an extreme believer in the paranormal, yet truly terrified of it. And Dan, known as Exploring with Fighters, one of the most fearless content creators we have ever met, native to the UK, and is incredibly motivated to do whatever it takes to find proof of the paranormal. Corey and I are incredibly excited to have them both be a part of this team and this series, and we know you'll love them too. And we're also meeting up with Jack. Jack! Our editor. Finally. So if you've been watching our video. Dude, we always talk about Jack in every video. And now we are doing the first ever Jack face reveal. No, he's, wait, he's, he's never been, been in the video. No, he's been in our videos all the time. Wait, you don't? Oh, you're you right. watch our video? No, you're right, he did. No, 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 you're right, he did. Because when I was like, Jack, blah, blah, blah. And then Jack was like, mm, mm, mm. Wait a second. <laughs> he was every Wait. If Jack's filming with us, then who's editing the video? So tonight is a special night because we are at a place called the Bally Galley Castle. It's actually ranked as the second or first most haunted location in all of Ireland. The reason being is there's actually a documented ghost here for the last 400 years. Holy. The room itself 
that the spirit resides in is called the ghost room. They do not let anyone sleep in there. Because it's the ghost's room. Exactly. You're not allowed in there. <laughs> Except tonight. Except tonight. We're the first people to ever get permission. What? Are you serious? We have... Wait, wait we're the first? We're the first ones ever. But we're also meeting up with a guide who was the manager of this place. Oh, who is going to give us like all the vivid details. Let's head over there. Let's go. What the Dude, wait, let's make it really dramatic. Let's, let's go, go ghost hunt. Oh, we bad. gotta do it again. Oh. Let's, let's go, go ghost hunt. hunt. Ghost, ghost hunting or ghost hunting? Dude, we ghost started hunt. at the same time. Let's go let ghost, ghost hunt. Oh, I didn't know we were starting to count. Let's go ghost hunt. No, no, didn't know count. Oh, wait. <laughs> hunt. Let's, let's ghost, ghost hunt. hunt. Oh, what, what the, the f Let's ghost hunt. That wasn't worth it. No. No. Y'all didn't feel that? No. It felt kind of good. I felt like I dropped the energy, but the intensity was there. When you let your mind wander to think of ancient castles, it's only moments later that you envision the ghosts that might haunt them. But this castle, sitting on the coastline of Northern Ireland, does not need imagination for the hauntings to be seen. There's a room dedicated to it, at the top of the castle, ready and willing to show you. For over 400 years, the ghost of Ballygally Castle has been ever present. In a manner so distinct, the ghost or ghosts, now have their own room named exactly that. The events that took place causing a soul to spend eternity haunting this castle were grim, involving a mother and her newborn daughter. Ownership of Ballygally belonged to the Shaw family, and Lord Shaw desperately, more than anything else in life, wanted a son. Yet when his wife Isabella delivered his child, instead of seeing the bundle of joy brought into this world, he only saw disappointment, a daughter. Lord Shaw instructed that his wife would be locked away in the top of the castle, confined only to a small round room in the turret. The daughter was separated from her mother, taken away, and her short life was ended. Lady Isabella was soon after found perished on the ground beneath her room's window. They say she fell while trying to escape to find her daughter while legend has it that she was pushed by the orders of her husband, Lord Shaw. The tales of Ballygally Castle do not end there. It was never confirmed where Lady Isabella's daughter was laid to rest, but it is believed that she was placed among other lost souls in the dungeon. Our journey tonight was to speak to Lady Isabella, but it seems as though another spirit wanted to have our attention. We would love to know who you think was communicating with us tonight. So please, let us know in the comments. Before we head into the castle and meet up with our tour guide, the ghost room is up there. It's a pretty small room, but I don't think it hold all of us. And this is something I thought about that we have actually never, never done this before. Mm -hmm. In over the hundred videos, whatever it is that we've done, we've never taken a single room, put all the devices in it, mm -hmm. and one person in the room. Yeah. And then swapped out each person. I love that idea. So the room and the tools all stay the same, but the person that's in the room is the only variable. Yeah. So if you get more activity, it might be because you're more scared. If you get more activity, it might be because you're more <laughs> connected. If I get more activity, it might be because I'm more of an instigator. Yeah. We've never determined if you could take one location with all the same devices, everything is the same, and just change the person mm -hmm. that's trying to communicate. I like that. I should have come on the last trip. <laughs> I do have to by myself? <laughs> I think so, yeah. Dude, what I'm super interested in to find out about that idea is like, what if different tools go off for each of us? Mm. Like, what if I go mm. in there, only the REM pod works. You go in there, only the cat balls work. Matt goes in there. Get possessed. Goes <laughs> to the flies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's head inside. So, let's do it. Okay. Do you guys hear footsteps? We should probably go inside. Okay. That is the ghost room. Bye. Which one? The little balcony right there. The one with the, with the little circle room attached? Mm-hmm. Indeed it is. Hey, how are you? Hello. Elton, nice to meet you. Elton, nice to meet you. I'm Norman. Pleasure. How are you doing? Hotel oh, manager, sorry. nice to meet you. Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, very nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> you were about to go into a wiki. Uh -huh. We're done. Oh, We're done. Yeah. <laughs> I'm too old for that. <laughs> okay, so you want to come in? Yeah, Let's, we'd love yeah. to. Yeah. We'd love to come in. Of course, spiral staircase. <laughs> What's your head? 
heads. Oh, wow. This uh, would have been the living room, dining room, whatever. Below here where the toilets are now used to be the dungeon room. Oh. So that's where the bodies are buried underneath there. So uh, the- I didn't know that by the way. I didn't know Are they know still that. down there? Yeah. What? So the, the story goes that the Shaw family, Lord Shaw, uh, took Lady Isabella Brisbane as his wife. She had a girl baby first instead of a boy baby. And in the 1600s, it was all very about virility and heirs and all that sort of thing. So uh, she had a girl baby, so the baby was killed and buried below. And the Isabella was put up in the ghost room and that's where she jumped or was pushed to her death. And he took a new family. Oh, wow. So at the minute then we are haunted, well not haunted, but we're visited by Lady Isabella from time to time. Not to frighten anybody, not to make anybody free, it's just to let everybody know how bad the Shaw family were here. Wow. Wow. Jeez. So yeah, lots of sightings and lots of people have seen her and lots of people have heard her. We've had other film crews that have been here, have actually filmed her speaking and everything and they've asked her questions and they've heard her voice. So what? We might get that when you go upstairs, you never know. But you said bodies, plural. Bodies, because other uh, mediums who have been here have said that there's more than one body under there and they've spoken to other people. Have you had any activity like here in this area? And Lots in here. One of the groups before yourselves, they had the lights that they put in and if there's any movement or any... any yeah, the motion sensor light. Motion sensor light. Mm -hmm. So they asked where they wanted it to be and a boy. And it was a girl baby, so I don't know where this boy came from, but he came and directed where the light was. And when the light came on, he started laughing and he was all, and they recorded all of that. How you got the laughter? Yeah. Wow. How long ago was that? Uh, during lockdown, COVID lockdown, so six months, eight months ago. Oh, wow. That's, one, that's like the rarest device that would go off motion sensor light. Yeah. It's only gone off twice for us in like yeah. two years. And they were in here. In here. Okay, we mm -hmm. might have to spend some time. We guys set some yeah. stuff up in here. Yeah. And some of the housekeepers and things, trolleys move and bits and pieces move in the room. The worst I have had is uh, somebody left the hotel in the middle of the night because when they woke up in Glen Anne room, which is up here, the wife woke up and she could, no wise cracks, and she could see somebody sitting on her husband's chest and was pushing him towards the window. Now the windows in those rooms are on this size and this gentleman was a larger man. But she was so frightened that she actually seen this figure and they left the hotel and she had to go and see a doctor and whatever. And they phoned on the Monday to say, you know, we have to leave at three o'clock in the morning. And, uh, sorry. Uh, at three o'clock in the morning. Three o'clock in the morning. We're How convenient. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they left and were frightened. Uh, one of the other managers who was here before me again in the dungeon, one way in and one way out. And she had it all set for a lunch, which was happening the next day, and she locked the door. And she came back the next day, all of the glasses were all set down, and all the cutlery was crossed, and there was the dust right through. Apparently that's what happens if there is a uh, somebody from the other side here, there's a dust on smell. Yeah. And no way in and no way out, so she couldn't explain how it was done. So. Uh -huh. And just to make sure, we have this entire tower to ourselves, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So if we hear anything, that's not us. It's not you. Or it is you. Yeah. You're the only people here. <laughs> if you look at the picture on the wall there, mm -hmm. you'll see no matter where you move in the room, those eyes follow you. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh so my no matter where goodness. you go, they will follow you. If you can look at the screen, you can see three heads. If you can see three heads, that means you're going to be able to see the ghost. Don't say that. Where, where are the three heads supposed to be? Look at it so you can see them and I can tell. I know where they are. So this is an ear. So if you imagine a profile, so you can see the profile here, ear, nose, mouth, and the same here. I can't see them. But you're I definitely not going to see the ghost you wish. Oh, great. Watch Matt have the most activity. Don't now. even yeah. joke, okay? I'm not joking, I'm being serious. Ah, wow. Oh, God. Dude, it's so narrow. Dude, this is so tiny. What? What is, that's the scariest part. I don't like that one bit. Oh, oh what? Wow. Oh, this is so creepy. Oh, this really is. Oh. Okay, so we're in the actual ghost room where Lizzie Isabella was, was put. Now remember in the 1600s, there would have been no glass in here. Mm -hmm. She'd have been here with straw on the floor. Oh, um, wow. The, the mediums and things have been here, they see her um, in this corner. 
oh my card God. in the corner, frightened for her life in the corner, and then that's where the sort of thing she was pushed eventually. They came up and so that she was either she was either trying to escape or she was helping. But, but this is quite high for a escape window. From, yeah. So was she pushed out the window, or did she? Well, no one knows nobody, really. Nobody I mean, really if you were trapped up here by yourself for a few years, I'd think after, about it too. After they took away your daughter, yeah, and buried her in the basement. Yeah. So you you have someone that works at the front desk who seems to be horribly frightened of this room. Is it like is that common for your staff? To, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Lots of them wouldn't come. She's, she literally told us she refuses to watch the video that we make here because she doesn't want to know if anything happened or not. What? Oh, the girl at the front? Yeah. The girl at the front was like, you're filming? She's like, I'm not going to watch it. She's like, I don't want to know anything that happens up there because I, I, I have to work here. I don't blame her. Orbs are a big thing. Lots of, if you take pictures, mm. there's normally lots of, we've had lots of people that have had orbs. I had a Canadian lady and five of her friends and one of them, she said, was taken over by Isabella was actually inside her. The one common thing I'm hearing though is that this incredibly small confined area has had a really heavily concentrated amount of activity in terms of seances, Ouija boards, investigators, and yeah. it's all right here in this little room. Yeah. One of the ones that I, uh, again, an American television company, and they showed me then what they had seen. They videoed and then they asked, um, what's your name? Mm -hmm. And she said, Lady Shaw, and you could hear them, the girl saying Lady Shaw, and they asked, did somebody hurt you? And you hear him saying, shut up, like really frighteningly saying shut up to her. Hmm. That was on. We could wow. record that. Interesting. So we have this, people love this, it's the cape, okay? So what you do is you put the cape on, you stand in the hallway, and you get your picture taken, and then that's when you see the orbs, if she is here or not mm. here, and then you post it on our Instagram. I don't like that you're saying it to me. Mm. So, well, you, you know, people it. put it on. Uh, Come on, give us an example. Yeah, hey, let's see if there's any orbs. You already said you want to take that jacket off, so. So, you have to be in the doorway of the turret. Oh boy. There oh my go. god, jeez, this is terrifying. Bro, you look terrifying. Say hello. Huh. Hello. There we go. Nice. Tell her your age. Mm -hmm. Okay. Change it up. Got it. Can be distressed. Damsel in distress. <laughs> yep. Now give me a king in distress, not a damsel. A warrior in distress. Warrior's bleeding out. A damsel who's bleeding out. A warrior looking on top of a damsel who's bleeding out. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, dude, that's my grinder profile picture right there. That's great. All right, should we close all the windows and block out all the light? Yeah. Just to make sure nothing can mess anything up to it. Hey, Matt. What? Can you fix Elton's curtain? Can you what did I do? Oh, yeah. Come oh, on. Oh, yeah. Elton. 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 What are you Elton. doing? Oh, Elton. I get to fix your dirty work. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that better? Got it. So start in here, use everything, and then we will bring everything upstairs to the ghost room. One person at a time. We'll decide how much time per person. And go from there. And just only them by themselves with the, the IR GoPro set up. Okay. I'm sorry, the fireplace behind me is waking, making like a weird thud. I thought it was footsteps. Oh. I was like, there's no way already that quickly. This is like very set. This is setting the mood though, you know? Nice, nice chairs, nice little fire. I know. Like, feels like we're in a castle. Yeah. All three of these are completely different REM pods. REM pods go off whenever you get motion within it. This one has a temperature gauge in it too. So if the temperature drops more than a degree in like one minute, it'll go off. This is motion sensor as well. Motion sensor as well. K2, which we all know, and then the ovulus, which will essentially spit out words. And then we have spirit box, we have the cat balls. I guess that was broken. That go off with motion. So we have every kind of, oh my God, are they all dead? There's no way. Yeah, there you go. That's how much, so that's how much you have to shake it. And then this is what we learned from the Shanley Hotel was setting the bag lights like right in between. Yep. And then apparently the spirits have the ability to 
finish the connection. So we have every kind of device that we can use tonight. All different kinds, force, motion, audio, energy, we have everything we need. And we're gonna set all those up later in the one room. Mm -hmm. Dude, you realize that's like, you're surrounded by so much yeah. to feed off you're of. You're literally by yourself. And you're gonna have to be perfectly still because if you move, the room's so small that it's probably gonna the set off. The motion sensor, yeah. Yeah, set off the motion sensor. Oh, shit. What if it just, what if everything goes off one by one, like boom, 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 boom. I'll <laughs> defecate. <laughs> defecate? Yeah. Then we just go up there, introduce yourself, do your thing for X amount of time, and go from there. Yeah. All right, cool. I'll set this up. They said it went off in the corner, I think. Mm. Last word friendly. Whoa! It just went off. Isn't that motion sensor? Yeah. You're next to it. No. No, no. It's in front. Oh, 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 it's, oh, it's look. It's, you have to be here. Oh, it's it's in a direction. Mm. Gotcha. The circle light over there is uh, like all around, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a full like six foot radius, I think. See? Wow. <laughs> Do you remember the first time we used the Queen Mary? It never went off. It never went off. Mm. Dude, we haven't even started yet. <laughs> Are you setting off the motion sensor? Kind of a good like zero, like gauge here though to see like what's working and what's not, you know. Uh -huh. I think we know what's working. Yeah. I'm gonna move this over there. Dude! This is actually nuts, dude. There's literally investigations where this doesn't go off. I'm so far from it. Oh, it's going. Bro. Hmm. Are you Yo, I cannot be upstairs here? with that thing going on. That's gonna be so scary. I just said, are you sitting in the chair? What's the latest word? Ever. Are you standing over by the painting on the wall? Or are you sitting in the chair? Just make a little bit of noise for yes and hold it down for no. Does that sound good? Do you enjoy the music playing? Dude, that was the tiniest one I know. Do you like the music? Do you want us to introduce ourselves? That was like no three times. Yeah. Like, no, no. Like, no, 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 no. I don't want you no. here. That's kind of like, I don't want you to introduce yourself and I don't want you here. Do you not want us here? Do you want us to leave? Yes. After. Oh my god. Is that yes? Is no long? Upper, yeah, no is long. So that was. So you asked if we wanted to leave, it beeped once and said yes. And then as we're debating it. It's getting aggro. Yeah. I'll ask one more time. A quick sound for yes, a long sound for no. Do you want us to leave? Do you want us to go to the ghost room? That means no. Oh, holy crap, bro. Yo! It really doesn't want us to go to the ghost room. Is that correct? Can you confirm you do not want us to go to the ghost room? The short ones mean yes, right? Yeah. So it's confirming. All you have to do is move in front of this, and it'll make a sound. I think they've already figured it out. I'm not just gonna f with it. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna be far from it. No way, I'm nowhere near it. What? 
you're seeing this, right? Yeah, it's calibrated. It, we, we use this enough for like, this is not common. No, this does not have. Do we have any rim pods set up? Just the one on we the We do, yeah, we have a new one. Are you a female? Very big no. Are you a male? Give us a, a quick sound for yes, a long sound for no. Are you a man? Was that a metro woman again? I feel like we should go upstairs. I think I feel like because it was so adamant about not going upstairs, that's a perfect time to go upstairs. You're so evil. Yeah, that is true though. This one, if it's gonna go off as much, if you're gonna try to do EVP in here, like it might just be going off like non-stop again. Which what what might that one? That rem pod? That yeah. one's actually never gone off. Really? So it was just that that just that occasion, really. Oh, you're talking about Oh, you about, about the music the, box. The, this, uh, this, this, sorry, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, that's really rare. Yeah. Like, genuinely, that's incredibly rare for it to go okay. off. Like, that's go on, very unusual, so. All right, so let's do this. Who's going first? Am I going first? I'll go Either first. me or you. I'll go first. Yeah? Sure, I'll, I'll stir up. Oh, wait, no, I'll go yeah, first. I'll go first, I got you. No, I'll go no, first. I got, I got you, I'm going first. Okay. No second. No, dude, this is. No, you already said you're going no. first. No! What? He literally already said outside he was he going said, last. He said, would you rather say go first or last? I didn't know middle was an option. So if you go in there, if you go to stand in that room, just remember to, like, turn it so that we're turned off. So that way it's not just going to be going off the entire time in your face. A little laser grid, which we never set up, but we probably should start doing it. K2. Boom. This one on you. Cool. Get cat balls in here. Oh, we got plenty, my friend. Oh, we got everything. Literally. Matthew, yeah. could you place this under those pictures? That one's dead. Perfect. Look how sensitive that is. Literally, I had to walk down. So if that goes off, there's something in the closet. In the room, man. Yeah. Oh, God. Let me show you how a trained ballerina okay. does this. I'm gonna throw your back out. I feel it. There you go. I'm helping. Oh, no. What the fuck? Oh, no. We need a smaller one? It's okay. huge. What's up? Let me lock myself in here. All right, have fun. All right, we're gonna go investigate the okay. dining. All right, I'll be in here. Have Bye, fun. Everyone. All right, Elton, have fun. Thank you. So I just want to bring this up one more time. The worker here, she literally told us that there have been knives and forks spinning in here, just by themselves, just spinning. Isn't that like poltergeist activity? Absolutely. Like that is like insane. Also, if this, assuming this is the same cutlery, shit does not spin smoothly. You gotta keep pressure on it. You can't just like tap it and... Motion sensor is by the door. Door is locked. Not a single device has gone off in the last five minutes. Nothing at all. REM pod in the corner. Flashlight there, REM pod there, REM pod in the ceiling, motion sensor. Nothing's gone off this entire time. There's cat balls all over the room. And frankly, I even want to kill this lady. I want to just black out of here. You know? Fully pitch black. That won't work. Hello, my name's Corey. Hello, my name is Matt. If 
there are any spirits in here, we heard that a lot of activity happens. And uh, if you want to sit down with us and if you want to eat with us, you can sit down at table number 23. And if you touch that little toy ball that we sat on the table, it'll go off and start lighting up. And that's one way that we can know that you are trying to talk with us. Or you can touch the device on table 19, and it will also light up and let us know that you're here. Well, Lady Isabel, I'll refer you as that because I know you hate the last name Shaw. But my name is Elton. Stab. Already. Perhaps I'll read the story, everything that happened in here, see if that brings it back to life. The man who built this castle in 1625 was James Shaw. His wife, Isabella, gave birth to a baby girl here at Valley Galley. Shaw, however, was livid. He was desperate for a male heir to ensure the castle would stay within the family. Are there any spirits or souls that are trapped? You heard that? Over there, right? Yeah, that was yeah. way over there. Are you here with us? If there was someone just over there, you can walk closer to us. That's if you want to talk. Lady Isabella clambered from the tiny window you see here in this room and fell to her death below. The light. Isabella, do you want me to continue reading? Long. Okay, I'll keep reading. If you want me to stop, just activate one of the devices. Since that time, her spirit is said to haunt the tiny room, sometimes appearing to guests in the castle part of the hotel, looking desperately for her daughter. Oh. Guests have been awakened in the night to find her standing in the middle of the room, only to watch her fade away to nothingness. This difference. So right here is, let me get it right. It was just saying 60 degrees, but now it's showing it's 61. And then I move it to over here and it goes to 60, 68, 60, 70. There's no way. By letting others know what happened to you and that you are still here hundreds of years later, you would show how much you truly care about your daughter. You can only imagine what that was like. I couldn't actually. I could never imagine what you had to go through. To have your firstborn child be taken away from you. Not only that, but killed and buried in the home that you conceived her in. Alright, this is the bathroom slash dungeon. This 
said that the daughter, Isabella, was buried down here beneath the floors. The daughter of Isabella? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to turn on a device right now. I'm sure many people have used it in here before. Okay. Guess you know exactly what it is then. Okay. So I don't need to explain to you what it is, but I'm explaining to any of our friends that might be watching that don't know what it is. It scans through radio stations at an incredibly high speed. And the theory is spirits have the ability to communicate through this like Bumblebee. But this time, I'm gonna put it in reverse. Not only is it scanning through stations, it's scanning through them backward. If anything does come clearly through, just very obviously, someone trying to send a message. Is it true that there were multiple people buried under this floor? There are no rules that we know of. Perhaps you are the daughter. And you grew to an age that you chose. And you're still here today. Perhaps that's something of disliking to you. Everyone comes here to speak to your mother. Were you buried under this castle? Will you please touch one of our toys and make them light up? All you have to do is touch them. So I'm going to leave you now. But I hope you enjoy your time with my friends. And if you were the one answering for my question, thank you. Okay. This is your last chance to communicate with us down here. If you don't touch one of our toys and make them light up, we're going to leave. Come back later. Is that okay? You can turn the light off. If that's what you want. I'll I promise to come back later. Okay. I will fulfill that promise then. Corey, I think it's time for you to replace Elton. So Matt, Elton, and I can go back to the music box room. Didn't go off the entire. The time flashlight. Time. Neither went off the entire. The flashlight too. What the? That, that never went off the entire. That was in here. Yo, that was look, look at the flashlight. As you say, Corey, are you ready? The flashlight. Do you off? not want me to leave? Did you prefer if I stayed? Did that and the flashlight just go off at the same time? Yeah, How does that happen? And you demonstrate. You have to turn that to get it to turn on. But this has never gone off before. Huh. So that and the flashlight just went off at the same time. Yeah, but that had never... Yeah, that's how it should work. Yeah. What the f***? 
for the record, music box still right here. Look. Now go go. Yeah. So I'm not gonna tell you what happened for me because I don't want to like change how you do things. Oh, cool. Or whatever happened, but it's interesting for sure. Oh, oh guess what? what? Also, guess what? Never went off for me. What? Flashlights. That flashlight. Never went off for me the entire oh, time. What? They it's like you. It's just kicking up. Whoever, whatever's in here, whoever likes one of you two. Three just went off as we came up. Both flashlights and the REM pod all went off, and yeah. I, I promise you have all the footage. K2 spiking. Those two never went off. K2 going crazy. Also, never went off. We're leaving. Good luck. I'm gonna go ahead and start my timer. <laughs> <laughs> old <laughs> SLS. It's, it's called the SLS camera system. It's the old connect center. Shoots out a huge grid of infrared that you can probably see huh, on mm -hmm. that camera. And then it'll map an entity. So if it sees anything that resembles a human or whatever, you know, that, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> it'll map it out. All right, well, they all left. Now it's just me and you being able to communicate with each other. If you do want to communicate with me, could you make one of the flashlights turn on again or maybe touch one of the devices and make it go off? Giving me a confirmation that you do want to talk to me. Oh. Here, Evan, come right around it. Me? Yeah. There. It wasn't you, because it was a second figure. Ooh. There was a second figure? Yeah. Oh, no. Damn, it was like there for other- Oh, I got it. Yep. Did I spell something on my neck? Are you serious? <laughs> I just got goosebumps so bad. Damn, it was like there for other- Oh, I got it. Yep. Did I spell something on my neck? Are you serious? <laughs> Remarkable timing that you said I felt going on. Are you on serious? My neck. I literally saw the, in the SLS and it grabbed your neck. Shut up. 100%. Like Dude. at identical time. There it goes. Yeah. Dude, because it felt And it's it. a chair. Look. It's probably exactly what was setting off. Look, you're not even in the frame anymore. Dude, because it was like, it felt like a, like a tag. Look, it's standing on the floor. All you gotta do is make one of the devices go off right now. The flashlight. The cat balls on the bed. The music box, if you like music. You can walk into the closet and put your hands up to try to make it go off if you're not tall enough. Just give me a sign that you do want to talk to me. Oh, thank you. Are you able to turn the flashlight back off? You almost got it. Yep. Just a little bit more. There we go. We're not here to bother you. We're actually just here to hang out and possibly get to know you. Keep you company. So you're welcome to sit back down. We'll leave your chair alone. If whatever it was that I was communicating with neither a man or woman, but something else. Could you now turn the flashlight on that's straight across from me on that little table below the mirror? Can you turn that one on and confirm that you're talking with me? Cool. Thank you. So it seems you only like certain questions, which there's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to answer everything I ask. You can turn that flashlight back on for a bit. Nothing. That's so wild. It went off, like, next to you, you said you felt something on your neck, it stood up and left. It was almost like, it was like oh shit, it knows I'm here. <laughs> like, they know I'm here. All right, I'm gonna turn on another device. You can try speaking and picking out the words to talk to me through this, or you can keep communicating through the flashlight, which it seems that that's what you like a lot. Hello? 
Jen. Jen W. W Jen. Does that mean something? Is that your name? Rebecca. Rebecca? Hmm. Jen and Rebecca. Rebecca or Jen, am I communicating with you guys right now? Oh, flashlight. That's good. If that was Rebecca or Jen messing with the flashlights, could you do it one more time? So I can know the name of who I'm speaking to in here? Child. Child. Is that why you're playing with the flashlight? You like turning it on and off? Result. Result. Is it something acting like a child trying to trick me? Pastor. Hmm. Dude, that'd be insane if it picked something up. I know. The thermal camera would be nice. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, because this can't pick up something at that distance. So if it mm. did, it would have to be like... Crawling outside. Massive. Like a massive mass. Entity. So if you are not a child and you're trying to trick me, turn that flashlight back off when I count to three. Ready? One, two, three. Hmm. Something just dinged. <laughs> well, it was nice speaking with you. Thanks for trying to prank me. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this way and then turn this way and then fail at opening the door. And then, uh, yeah. Oh, and now that flashlight's on. And now it turns off, okay. Thank you for communicating with me. You are not allowed to follow me home once we leave. But it was nice talking with you. Oh, flashlight's back on. Okay. Here's what we could do. I mean, we won't find out till the video's done. Each person come with me and do a testimonial to camera. Oh, wait that long. Hey! It's pretty insane. Okay, let's do that. We'll each go and tell Evan one on one. Okay, and then maybe at the end of the video we can tell each other. Sure, yeah. Alright. Um, we're off. Alright, have fun, bro. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Make sure I really love that. Oh my god. Are you oh, serious? Yeah. By the way, if you leave early, I'll know I'll check the go, bro. I also have a timer. We're good. Hello there. Am I alone in here? Okay. Okay, so you're in here with me. Can you turn the light off, please? Seriously, just happened. Are you me? No, I actually think your girlfriend decided. No, it did. I'm right. Your girlfriend decided. That's why I came up here. What does that mean? The battery. Yeah, look. That's why I checked. Dude, my heart is racing. You that's dead serious. I'm not. That's why I literally came up here. I didn't come up here. The dude, the battery's actually dead. You wouldn't have had any footage. I was trying to get the oh, door open. Boy. 
asked if Isabella was there, nothing. Asked if I should sleep on the floor like she had to, went off. Asked if perhaps not Isabella, but daughter, more activity. Asked if wants me to come back later because I had to go. Numerous devices. I'm sorry for them barging in on us. Are you still here with me? Leave it to demon messing with us. Hmm. Okay. Kind of in the same world. You're That's very weird. Yeah. That's very weird. I wasn't getting any activity at all until I was like, well, maybe you're not. Like, Isabella, everyone comes up here to like, speak to you. What if you're like the daughter who was trapped in the basement? And then I like, went to like ask her, like, call her by her name. And I was like, I don't know your name. I was like, I don't think anyone knows your name. And I was like, I don't even know if you ever got a name. I don't think you were ever mm. given a name. Yeah. I hope my friends were nice to you. They're really good guys. They were? They were nice to you? Thank you. Thank you for turning that on. And I was like, look, do you want me to come back? And then the light just went straight on. Really? And I was like, okay. If you accept my promise to come back, turn the light off. And it turned off. Really? And I was like, okay, I gotta come back later. We can use that to communicate, you and I. Can you turn the light off for me? You just step away from it? There you go. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Can I talk to Isabella? Is that you? Thank you for turning that on for me. What I got though was, uh, I kind of felt like it was like demonic, like something pretending, like trying to trick us. It's kind of making me start to go into this theory of like, what if everywhere we go, it's just demons pretending. I know it takes a lot of energy to, to turn that on, so thank you. You used to live here? Can you turn it on again if you used to live here? he gets something about a child or something demonic or anything, I'm going to be like, okay, like there's a portal here. Okay, it was very nice meeting you. Thank you for letting me visit. Thank you for letting me and my friends come to The door's open? What the f*** is that? What? Right as you were, like, two steps away? The noise just came from this chair, like on my album. Well, like, that didn't go off the whole time I was up here. Not that one. Oh, uh, no, that one did once. Once. This one was going crazy, though. I kind of, I think you guys coming in kind of scared it a little bit. Because as soon as you guys left the first time, I introduced myself. Uh, I was like, am I, am I, is anybody here with me? Am I alone? And the light turned on immediately. <laughs> immediately. On cue. I'm sure one of the cameras hit the, the camera. flashlight. Yeah, this one did. This was this, this is the main one. This is really the only thing that went off. That went off, I think, one time. But just this. Uh, why did it just get so dark, dude? I can't. I wish I could explain why. So I was sitting here in the dark like this. Right? It was it was exactly this dark. No lights on or anything. And then somehow it got darker. And I kept looking around, being like. Dude, what the f will be above us? I really want to go up there. Was that the chair again? Yeah, that was the chair. Did you break it? <laughs> Did you sit in the chair? I sat there the whole time. What'd you, where'd you sit? On the bed? No, I sat in the chair too. <laughs> what is that? Oh, light, flashlight, flashlight. And chair. All right, now it's definitely not for me sitting in it. It's been doing that too much. And it didn't do that until y'all came up here. <laughs> That's Elton with us somehow. <laughs> do you want to poke your head up there? Not even a little bit. You sure? Not even a little bit. Maybe you want to lift me and then I can put the camera up there? Really? Sure. Yo, That's that was like literally right here. Oh. What the f dude. That you up? Yeah. Flash Whoa! That again. 
Alright, ready? Yeah. Dude, the flashlight's going crazy. <laughs> Yo, again. what the f flashlight's going crazy. This is like a bad horror movie. <laughs> Go ahead. Right. Did you just see the flashlight going off like crazy, Evan? Uh, yeah. All flashlight again. Come in. Were you just upstairs? I'm pooping. Elton, do you swear to me you were not just upstairs? What is upstairs? Like that little attic area. Come over here, close the door. How, how do you expect me? I don't know. But close, close the door, Evan. The one you already you just replaced the battery with? Yeah. It's not on. Yeah, that just stops. It did. What was that? Oh, Rempod. NK2. Are you serious? Look, do well, that. That didn't go off at all while I was in here. Same. And the Rempod, or maybe that was the K2PB. The big one up, the, up there and it went off the, in the attic. Dude, if you really weren't up there, then that shit should have went off. Because we were hearing the loudest noises right above us. It is weird, nothing's gone off the entire time we're in here. Flashlights haven't moved or anything, right? Too many right. people. Too many people? Always a rule. Alright, well, I made a promise that I'd come back here at the end of the night, so. Alright, so I promised. I would come back here after all my friends had left, and now it's nearly four in the morning, and I'm back. Corey seems to think that there's someone here <laughs> that isn't positive and perhaps is exactly who I was talking to. So we'd love if you could confirm who or what you are. All right, I'm gonna sit down where I was before. Where you liked where? Dude, it just said it again. Terrible. Exact same voice. Can you tell us? Don't die. Don't die. Is that what it said? It sounded like don't die. Is everything in Spanish? Yeah, it sounds like it's in Spanish, which makes no sense here at all. Why is everything in Spanish? Don't die again. If you're telling us don't die, can you turn the flashlight off? Why is everything in Spanish? We're in Ireland. Try putting it. What the f was that? Was that under us? Yeah, but everyone's asleep. That's a heavy slam. No, that was a heavy slam. And we're the only people on this side. Yeah, there's no one else here. No one's allowed over here. I wonder if we should get the REM pod down from the attic. Yeah. Put it on the bed. Let's put it down, yeah. Should we grab it? Because where were we? It was Braun Castle, right? Where I had the theory that perhaps it's not, you know, always us that's finding the activity, but it's the device we brought. Mm -hmm. I mean, what if that theory is right? What if that box really has something and it's a, I don't know, like the other spirit is a, I don't know, afraid of it? I mean, dude, I want to doubt it. And it's made out of wood. Right? Yeah. Can't they kind of like attach to pieces like that? Let's get it. You gonna waste me? Oh my god. Well, they both. They're both going off right now. Yeah. Are you gonna hoist me again? Yeah, I'll hoist you. Okay. Just what? Grown men. Oh, wow. Oh, oh! That hasn't happened for me. It's the first time it's ever gone off. Both flashlights and the cat wall go off as we're going to get the new. Do you want us to get this device out of the attic? I wonder. All right, wait me, Daddy. All right, you ready? One, two. Oh my God, I was stepping on your rope. Yeah, dude, it still works. All right, got it. 
the fuck? Dude, it still works. And the flashlight. And the flashlight. That means the entire time, the entire time it was in the attic, it actually just never went off. And it never went off. Where should we put it? In the bed? Well, no, the bed was never here. Let's put it under the bed. Under the bed? That's where she is. Which one? Oh, that might be. Oh, because you touched it. That's where she would have slept. Was on the ground. So Isabella. No. Never went off the no. entire time. And you just said. That's where she would have slept. She would have slept right there. <laughs> it's not me. I'm too far away. Are you confirming it's not me? Never went off for the, the last entire night. six hours. The entire night. Does it piss you off? All the people that come and sleep in here? Mm. Can you touch that box? It's on the ground again. So we can confirm that we're talking with you. Turn the lights back on. Leader. 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 Alright, we're turning the lights back on. If you were here with us tonight, thank you for uh, your time. Quick. Hmm. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll have to watch all of our footage back and see if anything different happened or if everything the same happened or whatever it might be but no matter what we're on our way out to dublin right now we're going to the hellfire club probably the most requested location we have gotten over the last five years we're going there and we're teaming up with i think one of the most well-known paranormal investigation teams in the country so we'll be on their home territory and they know the history and we'll see how it goes Let's go. Sorry, I'm, I'm like still waking up. <laughs> in my head, I'm like, oh, dude, that's sick. <laughs> but out loud, I'm like, sick. But in your body, you're like, I'm sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, shout out to, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> we just went, yeah. Off uh, to Dublin, and then we're off to the UK, finally. Exactly All right. We're in the UK right now, though. We're off to England, I guess. All right, that's it. All right. You okay? Right, cool. What? You okay? You okay? I'm a little tired. You okay? I'm a little tired. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Now it's gonna be okay. Wow, you're so warm. You're like so like uncomfortable and comfortable at the same time. You know what I mean? Like you're so rigid, yet so Ladies. comforting. I'm so rigid but comforting. You know what I mean? That's like he's so bio. firm and muscular, but like still soft and warm. I know. Uh, shadow came out from this wall right behind him and uh, just engulfed him. Oh. It's constant up here. I'm not messing. A haunted house is one thing, but demonic <laughs> I'm not <laughs> with it. What the <laughs> Devil. Devil. There are any demons in this building. Oh. The whole downstairs is cameras except for the back room where you got touched when you first got in here. Interesting. Oh, Hey, Elton! 